If he lying, if he, if the Lord ain't sent him, he gonna pull the skirt up off of him. Make sure that. Go ahead and read. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace uh -huh. and bring glad tidings of good things. Go ahead. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. That's the key. They have to obey the gospel. Tomorrow, is they going to be obeying the gospel? The answer is no. Because if they would have they been in church today and not tomorrow. So they have not obeyed the gospel. Go ahead and read. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? Uh -huh. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith comes by what? By hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. Of God. See, it all revolves around the word of God. It always comes back to what? That word. And who that word represents? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. None other than Jesus. Let's go a little further, brother. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Let's see what the preacher going to give you. Ecclesiastes 12. Ecclesiastes 12, and we're going to pick it out up at now. Let's see what this pastor, this preacher, going to give you. Ecclesiastes 12, and we're going to pick it up at verse 9. Go ahead and read. Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. Go ahead. And moreover, because the preacher was wise. Why was he wise? Go ahead and read. He still taught the people knowledge. Because he taught the people knowledge. And if he had any knowledge, it came from God. And if God going to give you some knowledge, that means he feared God. Go ahead and read. Yeah, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. And that's what the preacher going to do. He's going to set in order many proverbs. Go ahead and read. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words. He sought acceptable words. You know, words that's going to be accepted but to you and God, he's not going to give you his words. He's going to give you the word of God. Go ahead and read. And that which was written was upright. And that which was written. That's why he has to come from the scripture, sisters and brothers. It has to be written. Go ahead and read. Even words of truth. Even the words of truth. And the only words of truth is the word of God, sisters and brothers. So after he teach you, what is he going to make you uh, insist that you do? That is a necessity. Let's go to uh, Matthew, the 28th chapter. Because first thing we do, we have to teach you. It's like teachers had to teach us. We had to be taught first. And then after we had taught, we were told to do something. Because we knew it was about our salvation then. But as a pastor and as a preacher... Our, preacher, our pastor must do this thing. He got to tell us this. That's why I know Danny be up here teaching this. And I thank God for our pastor. You know, and I thank God for all the teachers in Israel. Straight up. Praise God. Matthew 28 and 19. 28 and 19. Go ahead and read. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. See, this is the last commandment get God gave Jesus, the master gave to us, his disciples. Go and teach all nations. In other words, teach everybody. Because that's what we are here to do, to teach everybody. Go ahead and read. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. You no, know, teaching them. Be, and then after we teach them, we tell them that they have to be baptized. Because baptized is a part of you getting salvation. It is a necessity. Because if you don't come under the blood of Jesus, sisters and brothers, you are yet in your sins. And the wages of sin is what? Death. You don't want to deal with that. That great transgression. Go ahead and read. And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Teaching them you. to do or observe all things that I have commanded you. The Lord said he didn't come away to do away with the law, right? As long as there are heaven and earth, one Jordan, one tittle will not pass from the law to all be fulfilled. The master said that, right? That is why we teach you. So anybody that's teaching you other, other than that, then they lying on the Lord. They don't belong to God. He said, teach them to observe all things, whatever I've commanded you. So let's see. Let's go a little further. Let's see what Peter did. 
Because when you get baptized, something happened to you. Another player come on the scene. Let's go to St. John, the 14th chapter. We bringing it on home. We almost there. I think. <laughs> St. John 14 and 26. We got a lot of one hitters now. 14 and 26. Well, no, it was, uh, well, it was actually Acts 2. I'm sorry. Go to Acts 2 first. I'm sorry, y'all. No, Israel get to looking at you like, hey, you better hurry up, you know. <laughs> Acts 2 and 36. Because uh, Peter was among them when he uh, gave that commandment. And we want to find out what happens once you get baptized. Acts 2 and 36. 2 and 36. When you get there. Because these brothers found out that they killed the master. And they were very sad. I guess they, you would be sad too once you found out you killed the master. The one that created you. Go ahead and read. Matthew, uh, I mean Acts 2 and 26. Go, 36. Go ahead and read. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Peter let them, Peter let them know. Hey man, let me tell you man. The one that you crucified, hey, man, he is both Lord and Christ. Go ahead and read. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. It was like them getting stabbed in the heart. You know, that was some great pain. Oh, my God. I know some of them probably even fainted. Go ahead and read. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then now they want to know what to do because they know they have killed the master, the anointed one. They were afraid. Go ahead and read. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So when you get baptized, then you bring this other guy in, the Holy Ghost. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, the preacher ain't around all the time. He going to teach you, but you still need somebody to guide you. Preacher doing his part by teaching you, but you need to help sometimes along the way, you know, to bring some things to your memory. So you got to have this Holy Ghost fellow on the scene. Let's look at this Holy Ghost, what he going to do. Let's go to uh, St. John, the 14th chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 26. St. John 14 and 26. And 14 and 26. When you get there, go ahead and read. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. In other words, this Holy Ghost going to tell you everything that the master say. So if somebody is telling you they got the spirit of God on them and they telling you you do not have to keep the law, that's not the Holy Ghost God say he was going to sin. Because the Lord never told you that he was doing away with the law. He never told you that. The Lord ain't never told you God loved everybody. He died for everybody, but he don't need, when, when he died for you, he wanted you to convert, to change. You understand? Let's go again. Let's go to St. John, the 15th chapter now. Look at this guy again and see what he's going to bring. What is he called? Fifteen and 26. Go ahead and read. But when the comforters come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth. He is the Spirit of truth. Why is he called the Spirit of truth? Because he's bringing something. Go ahead and read. Which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And he's going to tell you all about the Master. He ain't going to tell you about this other Jesus. You know, the one that died on Good Friday and rose on early Sunday morning. He ain't going to tell you about that guy. Because that, he, that, that Jesus didn't proceed from the Father. He ain't going to tell you about the one that, was, that Jesus that was born on December 25th. He ain't going to tell you about that. Because the spirit of truth don't deal with folly. If he's a spirit of truth, that means he's going to bring some truth. I know the sister and brother upstairs is going to be upset at me. I told him I don't like giving them my lessons because I change up during the course of the lesson. We're going to go to uh, St. John the 17th chapter. <laughs> you know, 